Hello everybody and welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. We are here once again and we are prepared and ready to head into the Mendicant Friar fight. I'm a bit scared, as you can see he's um, sort of built an uprising and came against the town and we're a little bit underprepared i will say we are uh we're going in with three level sixes and one level five i am bringing anukis in here um just because i feel like his ability to both armor pierce and um, hit every single position break guard bypass guard pull lower speed blight just all of the things that he has i really think these are going to help a lot I've kind of researched this fight a little bit just because we were, we were underprepared. I wanted to go in as prepared as possible. And I've researched this fight a bit and I've created a team here with some of the people over on the Discord that I feel is going to be very, very good. We've got Barbara as our healer going with pure healing skills. Uh, she has 44 HP, so I didn't feel the need for prop. Um, then we've got um, Unknown otherwise known as Enigma, coming in with Focus Ring, which is going to counteract this here, just in case. Um, as well as that extra crit is going to be nice. And we have the uh, Kraken Guard for that 10% maximum HP in the prot, bringing it to 50 because he has a base of 40. And brings his HP up, which makes the prot even more effective. And we're mainly going to be using him as an offhand healer with unusual dynamo, especially in uh, collaboration with Barbara, because she has both Gifted and Dynamic, which means all of the healing coming from Unknown is plus 40% when healing the Vestal. So essentially, he is going to be here just to heal the Vestal, um, because she actually has a skill that means that she gets less healing from her own skills. So I think that should hopefully work out all right. And also, he's going to be using the Arcane Fervor, uh, to get that um, little damage buff on others, but mainly for that massive bleed increase and massive damage increase. And then we're going to be using that alongside this here, the Illusionary Slash for that massive damage bonus and bleed, as well as this here for a chance at the uh, bleed and also just a little bit of extra damage. I think that's going to work out really nicely. Uh, of course, as I said, Anugis kind of covered him. We've just gone with the Singing Blade here because that's going to give a bonus to crit, bumping it to 15. Also going to give a Stress Heal on crit, which I feel is really good and a little bit of prop just to bump that hp up a little bit i think that's going to be really important and then here we've got josephine crowley our ringmaster she is well up for the show she is absolutely loving it here and she essentially is going to be our buffer. She's going to be using this to buff herself by a, a very, very high amount. As you can see, pull three, so we can pull the Friar out of place. Breaks guard as well, which is really nice. And a massive bonus to her own damage. Um, as well as this, which I bought recently, the Crystalline one. On Neil hit, which is this skill here, there's a chance that we get a massive bonus to either crit or stress, he uh, stress healing. So we've got the stress healing here, which is going to be even more stress healing. We might not need it, but we also might. And then we've got this here, fan favor, which will be pairing with um, Ang Anguis to uh, get a little bit of extra damage out here. I think there's a few different ways that you can take on this fight. You can either try to focus down the Friar because he has insanely high healing abilities, um, or you can focus on the crowd, which is at the front. I think this party is more leaning towards focusing on the party at the front essentially the way they work from what i know is they start off as a small crowd and every single turn every single like round should i say that goes by they gain extra maximum hp and extra damage because they're growing in numbers it's called the uproar um so we're gonna have to try and counteract that this is a very tough fight and it's very very plausible that we do lose a member or two in this fight i am going into this knowing that as a fact i am scared I am worried, and we're probably going to leave this as a very short episode where we just do this fight and just focus on this, but I think we're as ready as we're ever going to be, and we should we should jump on in. I, like I said, I'm scared, but yeah. Uh, we're going to take all of this. I don't think we need torches, but I'll take them anyways. And I'm going to bring an Aegis scale as well. Why the hell not? Uh, I don't think we'll need either of these. I don't think there's anything else here. So let's embark. We're not going to do any diary entries or character introductions today either. This is purely about the fight. I'm very, very scared. Very, very scared. But let's jump in. It's just the one fight. But we here, here have the extended... Um, the extent of the Friar's treachery is clear. But what would driv uh, drive an otherwise peaceful scholar to incite a mob against you? Whatever his motivations, he must be dealt with. Show the populace that your hand is strong and far more cruel. 
Right, I am I am truly terrified of this fight. I'm truly terrified. This this could go so wrong. There's so many parts of this fight that are so, so difficult. So I'm, I'm very scared. But I think this team has a very, very good chance. I think this team has a very, very good chance. Oh, here we go. So we'll keep our light levels up, mend the masses. So there's that healing. 40, as you can see. So we've actually started out with possibly one of the worst moves that we can get. I really was hoping we wouldn't get him first, uh, worst characters first. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to just do that. We, of course, missed on our first turn. That's great. Um, wow, that's loud. Um, we're probably going to have some stuns and things coming in here. Um, so I think we start off with Neil here. Um, we can pull you forward, try that out, and try just doing an insane amount of damage. And we got that crit buff as well. Um, so we're going to go with this, which is apparently a free action. I didn't know that, but apparently it is. There you go. Um, and then we can go with this here, which is, I was going to say, hopefully going to debuff, but we didn't actually get the debuff there. Um, stun chance isn't super high, but I reckon we go for it anyways. I'm going to, I wasn't planning on taking the fryer, but like, I guess that's what I'm going to do. There's uprising. Guard failed. Luckily, he has to be healed up. Okay. Okay. Let's go with that. That's a huge hit there. Huge hit. And let's just go for the party heal. Yeah, this is a very scary fight. Another crit coming in. Probably a stun as well. No? We're resisting the debuff. I don't know what debuff that is, but I'm, I'm scared. Restoration coming out there. 20. Ooh, that's a big restoration hit, that. My god. Okay, so they really want Enigma dead. They really want um, this guy gone, apparently. Let's go. Uh, you can't be missing like this, dude. This is terrible. You're missing so much right now. Um, okay. Let's go for that. Let's get that going. No debuff. Sadly, their debuff resist isn't super high, but we're not getting it. Riot's coming in. That's not bad. Nice dodge, though. <sighs> okay. You've still got... No, you don't, actually. Hmm. Um... I think we just go for Neil again here. Nice. 85% damage up. Great. Good dodge. Crits received. Nice damage. And crits received as well. That's great. Get that heal in there. Good, good. This is scary, but we're doing really well so far. We're doing really well so far. I think we yet again want to go for this for the crits received. Uh, damage received. We're not getting the debuffs, unfortunately, that we wanted, but hey her. Oh my god. This, if, if they get healed, this is going to be bad. We're hoping the heal just doesn't come, but it's going to come soon, and we need to be able to out damage it. Nice damage. Extra bleed on there. Everyone gets a bit of healing. Good. There's the mend the masses. 60. That hurts. Okay, he did get the guard off. So I think we break guard there. Can you not? Oh my god, what's his accuracy? We're getting so many misses here. This is really unfortunate. I need to figure out what's going on with that. Uprising, more maximum HP. More damage. Okay. I can't believe how much he's missing. It's really bad. Um... Keep going for that. I think we've got to keep trying. Lowered speed is nice here. Bleed damage is good. Riot's going to hurt. Riot because it's kind of one of the bigger moves here. Okay. I think we keep going for this. Crit's received. Great. And there's the crit we need. This is the way to go. It's, it's a risky one because the heals keep scaling up. But this is working. That's a big hit. It's okay, though. We can counteract that. 
The view for Rotten. It's okay. Nice heal. Okay. Let's do that. That gives us massive buffs to that. We just keep going on that. We're not getting the debuffs at all on him, but we are getting the bleed going. And there you go. We've almost done it. We've almost done it, guys. This, this has gone way better than I thought it would. Oh, my God. We're so close. I forgot how good bleed would be because they have multiple t uh, attacks per turn. Have we just done it? No way. Does not dissuade the sharpened blade. I think we have to kill this guy still. I'm not sure. But we've got rid of the crowd. Save thyself. <laughs> no, we did it. Okay. My god, I was not expecting that to go as well as it did. Oh, that team was great. Okay, I have to say the ringmaster was was the true the true powerhouse then. The true powerhouse. But there you go. We did it. Okay, maybe I will carry on this episode then, because I wasn't expecting that to go anywhere near as well as it went. That was a risky, risky fight to take, and I was very, very scared. Uh, but we we did it. We did it. The the healing was on par. Um, Anguis did, unfortunately, miss a few of his attacks, but it's okay. Oh, my God. That was... Oh, that was... That was definitely a scary one. Maybe I will go into some of the backstories that we have here, and and the like um that has actually progressed a week as well and we've got ourselves a anointed which i'm very happy to bring aboard um let's quickly make sure just trinkets are unequipped right and then reorganize everyone okay wow that was that was scary but we did it what what have we got here extra damage versus blood suckers extra speed versus blood suckers and stun chance um don't really want any of those, to be honest. Um, well, we've got some interesting stuff here. I did get a new mod that adds some new um, crystalline items here, but that, that went really, really well. Um, prevent nighttime ambush. Friendly skill, stress minus two. Friendly skill, clear horror. That's really good. Um, but yeah, we have some good ones here. That basically, it's a, it's a bunch of new general cr crystalline trinkets. So we got this one here: extra healing when uh, when eating and extra healing received. Then we've got this one here: uh, minus resolve, extra stress, just for making sure people don't level up. Prevent nine to ambush. That's one of them as well. Extra scouting chance if torch below. Massive scouting chance, but chance for party surprised. Minus seventy five percent healing skills. Friendly skill. Um, okay, that's kind of interesting. That's kind of interesting. Um, I think we've got a few more as well, but they, they look pretty good. There's some good ones in there. Um, let's quickly check what we got here. Still no syringe. It's just not coming back around to us. I really wish it would soon, but we're not getting it quite yet. But yeah, that actually went really, really, really well. Um, the Friar just didn't really get any heals in. Um, we we managed to keep him keep him back. I kind of expected the the healing to get kind of out of hand, but he only managed to get two big heals in, and the insane damage buffs of Neil really, really saved us there. That was that was the, the massive factor there. But either way, I'm just gonna quickly uh, go and get some of the backstories ready, and we can go into a few of those before we go into a next mission. Okay, here we have v uh, Voidwalker, our Veiled. I'm really excited about this class. This class has got some very unique things about it. As you can see here, we've got some um, different abilities where different health gates activate different parts of the ability and they all stack with each other. I think it's going to re really work well with some of our other classes, especially our Dark Wraith. But this is a backstory by Blank Gaming, and this is Voidwalker. Voidwalker, or as he was then known as King Bale. He was a king known for his strategic approach to any combat. After his death, his kingdom soon fell into pieces. Hundreds of years later, he was brought back from the dead by a powerful necromancer who mostly brought back well-known rulers or combatants from the dead just for fun of seeing them struggle in the new era. When Voidwalker was brought back, he could only remember two things from his past, his wife and the kingdom he once ruled. After a long time searching for his kingdom, hoping it was still intact, he found himself in the hamlet. Knowing his kingdom was wiped out, there was only one more thing he needed to find. No matter if dead, alive, fish folk, or whatever was uh, was going on, whatever she was now, he just needed to find her. This is a really good backstory, and it actually comes with a diary entry as well that we'll get into, because I think it flows very nicely with this backstory. So again, by Blank Gaming, 
When I arrived at the town, I was quickly approached by a man in some sort of weird robes with a very particular f uh, face covering. Before I could even ask him, he introduced himself as Isaac, a doctor. By his voice, I could tell he was excited about something. He started asking me all sorts of questions about my body, which had been turned into almost nothing over the years. I told him all I currently knew was I was once the king of these grounds where my kingdom had once been, and my wife, but nothing else. He told me I'd be a while until I found who I was searching for, and that until then, I needed some sort of nickname to go by. As my physical form was pretty much only just ne necromancer's robes and some bones, we agreed that I'd be called Voidwalker. It sounds intimidating, and makes sense for me being a dead man walking, and it rolls off the tongue, which I don't have pretty well. <laughs> I like that, that's really good. So yeah, Blank Gaming wrote that one, and I really, really like that. That's a very, very good backstory jumping into this. Um, and I'm really excited to use this class. We also next up have our new Mender, because unfortunately, Zai is no longer with us. And as did um, T.A. write Zai's backstory, he's also, also ruined the backstory for Petra here. Born in the great city of Amidus, Petra was a bright girl from a young age, and her well-to-do parents had the money to pay for her schooling. Everyone expected a good life ahead of her, and that came true, in a way. But she was not able to go after her own passions, because early in the studies she wanted, the, uh, early in the studies she wanted, the army came knocking. They needed medics, and were looking for the brightest in the city to receive their training. Naturally, Pre uh, Petra was the perfect candidate, and they recruited her. The studies were grueling and difficult, but Petra soon became um, understanding of the subjects of psychology and medicine, and the uh, um, and the army had their medis medics. Yeah, they needed them desperately, as stories of monsters filtered into the city, rumors of cults circulating within, and sightings of the spreading corruption originating from the hamlet begin to stir fear in the people. They thought they were ready. The walls were fortified, the armies prepared, and of course. The oh-so-vigilant medics were steering themselves for the coming weeks or months or years before the strange assault would be over. Then the monsters came, and the medics were no help, because you cannot heal a dead man. Petra fled with a small troop of soldiers and civilians alike, perhaps the only survivors of that great city. The travellers from there um, to the hamlet was no easy task, and they were raided by parties of roaming monsters on their path. Petra... With dwindling supplies and so many injuries to tend to, became overwhelmed. It was too much work. She started becoming inattentive. Priorities were skewed, improper care, and people dying under her hand. And away from them too. The troop finally reached the hamlet. Petra is carried into the town, asleep. Deeply respected by the ones that kept her alive. If it wasn't for her, there would be no arrivals in the hamlet today. Just corpses on an old road. Wow. That's so good, and I'm super excited to have a new Mender back. We desperately needed it, because the Mender is one of the strongest healing classes. As a, it's basically an alt Vestal that has some better stress healing utilities, so we really, really needed a new Mender, so I'm very, very, very glad to see that we've got her back, and we can jump into just a, a short adventure here um, with some of our new classes and see what we can get done. So let's have a little look-see. Uh, we want, ideally, a short... Um, a short level four. There you go. Short level four, and we're gonna we're gonna bring a uh, bring along a few of these people. I think so. Petra, of course, we're gonna bring Petra. Void Walker, Katrina Duran, and who else should we bring? We could bring Raylia. Um, Raylia even. Raylia could work quite well in this comp. Who else could we bring? We could bring Marcus, I suppose. I don't know where he best resides. A uh, bear. Seems like he's pretty good in the back line, although he is kind of based on bleed, and we don't really need bleed, we need blight, so maybe, maybe not for this specific battle. We could bring, um, Seraph. Seraph's not been out in quite some time. Uh, that could be quite useful. Let's have a little look, see what we can do here. So we got the Transcend mode. Um... Okay, we, we've got, we've got an armor-piercing move here, which could be good. Um... This could be this could be a good one. This could be a good one. I think. Hmm. It's, it's this is a, this is actually kind of a difficult group to build. To be honest, there is a few other people that we just haven't taken out in a very long time. Verona's not been out. Nick hasn't been out in a really long time. 
Um, Matthew hasn't. There's been a lot of... We've got a lot of people that haven't been out. Fragment hasn't been out in a very, very long time either. Um... We could go with Fragment. Um, he could work quite well, actually. He's got a little bit of healing. The ability to lower some prot as well, as well as having a blight. Should we give this a go? Let's let's bring let's bring Fragment out. It's a bit of an odd group, so let's let's take a little look see over our group. So we've got Petra here as our main healer uh, and stress remover. Fragment as our off healer and damage dealer. Um, we've got Katrina Duran here in front as again one of our main damage dealers i think the damage he provides should be enough uh, as well as another ability to lower prot here which is really good um let's have a little look see what we got here target two blocks force guard extra stress that's a lot of extra stress or we could go with an ability to break repost is pretty interesting um bypass stealth break repost minus speed crits received and minus dodge yeah, let's go with that, shall we? Breakdown. And this should be pretty good. We've got Page Cutter here. Um, you can kind of go from either spot here, although we pro probably want a move that moves you forward as well. Maybe we'll take that off and go with... Um, Clear Horror. Yeah, let's go with this here. Try that out. I think that could be pretty good. Getting that uh, two blocks and force guard by ally is quite interesting. And then, of course, Voidwalker here. Um, we need to take a little look into his skills a little bit more. So, first of all, we've got a nice base stun, good attack. Um, and if he's below 70% HP, um, minus death blow dealt chance. I'm not exactly sure how that works against the enemies. Um, minus 17% damage, and then minus 17% damage and crit. That seems really good. Enfeeble is going to stun and reduce his health a little bit. At minus 70% health, it's going to give minus dodge, then bypass stealth, and then also uh, extra stun chance. Again, that's a good one. This one here, a good heal, uh, give to the living, although can only be used from the back line. In fact, both of these can only be used from the back line. We want ones that can be used from front line. Um... Hmm. Maybe he doesn't work with where I thought he would. Let's quickly change these two around, shall we? You, you'll you probably work... I don't know, actually. We're, we're having some some issues with people and their positionings. Because I didn't realise that this is a move that we can't use from here either. Um, Crystal power you can't actually use. Okay. Uh, maybe we'll do this. And keep you... Take that off. Keep you there. And what else we got here? So armor piercing. Minus extra healing received. Um, and self extra HP. That one doesn't seem to have any bonuses at different health levels. Uh, death blow chance. Torch decrease. This one here can only be used at um, like really low HP. Same with this one. So I guess we stick with these for now and try that out. That could be interesting. And then, how are you doing from there? Hmm. This party order's a bit strange. A little bit strange. Can you work from the front? No, you can't. You've got to be there. So maybe we just take this skill off and go with this and then deal with that when it comes to it. Oh, because you can't use that from there either. Okay, okay, okay. This is this is not this is not a great party order right now. Let's let's work this out. So you can only use these from this position. So let's put let's put you there for now. You can use that from there. You can only you're mainly a backliner, I didn't realise. Mainly a backliner. So maybe we get rid of Katrina and go with go with our veiled. Yeah, let's let's take off Katrina for now. As much as I like Katrina. Um and then just go with our Void Walker and keep you back there. You're fine there. And then who do we go with as our frontline damage dealer then? Well, because we're losing quite a lot of damage from Katrina, so who do we who do we swap out? Who hasn't been out in quite some time? 
that would work on this journey. Um, Clint? We haven't brought Clint out in a long time. We could bring Clint. Um, I know that we've got some level 4s that need leveling. On Mars. Let's, yeah, let's bring up Mars. Mars should be able to do a good job here. Okay, so I think this is a pretty good team. It's uh, it's quite purple. <laughs> We've got quite the purple team going, especially these two back here. And yeah, let's try this out. See how this works. Uh, let's quickly trink it up and see what we need to take along with us here. Um, I'm not sure what's going to work best. So, of course, our Mender. We, we have some Mender trinkets that will help out a lot, I think. I thought we did anyways. Do we not have any Mender trinkets? I thought we had Mender trinkets. One second. Sort by class. Apparently we don't. I thought we had a one that boosted healing for the Mender, but I don't see that anywhere. So let's go with... Oh, we actually, we have our new trinkets that we just received. So we've got this one here, the last light. Um, prevent nighttime ambush. On friendly skill, heal two. Um, on friendly skill, buff targets prot. Wow. On attack, gain torch. On hit, lose torch. Interesting. Okay, so do we have any abilities on any of the characters that affect the whole team? I don't think we do. That could work out quite well, though. Especially with the Prevent Nights and Ambush. Obviously, we don't need that on short missions, but I like the idea of that. Um, so we, we want to be just getting the bonus healing going here. So let's go with the head that gives healing. There you go. Junie's head. And just in case, let's give you a little bit of prot as well. Why not? So we'll go with the husband's heart. There you go. Um... Then you can take... I don't know what's going to be best for you. Maybe just straight up damage or stun chance. I may, Yeah, you've got, you've got a lot of the abilities to stun. So maybe we just go with stun chance. But I don't know what general trinkets we have with that that would, that would help for that. I'm not sure. But buff stun chance. We've got a lot of buffing stun resist, but not buffing stun chance. Hmm. We could go with bonus damage versus Eldritch if we've got that. I think we do. Do we have that? Yes. Let's go with that. Bonus damage versus Eldritch. And... Hmm. Maybe just some prot as well. Just to be safe. And then... You're gonna be you're gonna be hitting everyone with this. So I think with this one, we definitely go with the Hemlock. Wherever that is. Where's the hemlock? Here it is. Go with the crushed hemlock. That'll help out there. And does that count as a melee? It does. We could go with a bleed as well. Um, We could go with that. We've got this as well. Plus two additional uh, HP healed. Was hit self-heal for... Um... Yeah, do you know what? Let's Let's go with that. Bit of self-preservation there. Mars, you can go with full-on damage. So, let's go with... Your crit isn't very high, so maybe we go like this. We grab that, give the 25% damage there, and we grab... Where's the brace? Where's the legendary brace? I am losing things here. I don't know where any of my trinkets are right now. Am I just missing it? Where's the... Where's the brace that gives 20% damage? I've compl... Oh, there it is. Yeah, there you go. Legendary Bracer. Um, and I think we're all trinketed up now. Um, I think this should be good. I'm just going to see if we have any really negative things on here. Less damage on first round. For the most part, this seems fine. Okay. Let's give that a go, shall we? Uh, let's jump on in. This should be an okay party for this. Should be an okay party. Let's jump on in. Grab that. Grab that. Let's just take them all. And we shall embark on our way. I know that was actually quite a lengthy process of going through the trinkets and stuff. But that's kind of just to show you what I go through when I set up trinkets 
off camera for you guys. A lot of the time I do that and it takes quite a long time to, to get a good set of trinkets going. Honestly, it really does. The Stingray's poison spreads as, it prey, uh, as its prey attacks. Well, that's kind of interesting. Never knew that. These salt -soaked caverns are well, this should be good. It's only a short dungeon. I doubt we'll be in here long. I doubt it'll be too difficult. Of course, we get hit by a trap straight away and we will be removing that straight away. Just in case. Keep going. Okay. We could end up getting this here. Ooh. Wasn't expecting that. That actually messes things up quite considerably. That actually messes things up very considerably. Um, ooh. I don't know best way to set this up. Right. Um, let's try this out. Th this, he seems like he's going to be a very good class for stunning things. Probably stunned there. Resisted. Oh, it was bleed. Okay, we're fine then. Let's get that going. There we go. Bleed and blight. Lovely. Yeah, that mix around there was, was very inconvenient. To finish you off. Oh, I love his animations. Shocker coming in. This could be a stun. Most likely is. Yes, it is. That's okay. We can deal with stuns. That's you. You are pretty much dead now, I think. And... I think we just heal party here. Everyone needs it a little bit. Ow. Nice. But yeah, that 25% extra damage when in slot 1 doesn't work when you get pushed out of slot 1. But we're just going to keep on going for now. As we are. Good, good. Mix you all about a bit. Minus this damage on you as well. Unforeseen. Unforeseen. That's okay. We should be good. Get one more heal in here as well, I think. Yep. Good, good. Oh, we got another heal. Back to back. Wasn't expecting that, but okay. We don't really need that either, but hey her. There we go. Right, let's reorganize our party. It's kind of annoying that our first battle in here, we didn't actually get to test out our party order properly Success. at all. So Wasn't really expecting that, but hey her. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Let's go. Right, we complete 100% of room battles, so we have to go down here. Wealth beyond measure. We can turn around after this one. Oh, here's the Stingray. And, the and we got the surprise this time. That's a bit better. That's a bit more like it. Right, so... We can... This one is just a mark and stun. This one's damage as well. Or we can go with this, which is armor piercing, which is great. Um, less healing received. He's not going to he uh, get healed, so I'll just go with this one. Probably won't stun it because it's got high stun resist, but that's okay. Get both of you with that. Gets blight on both of you as well. That's kind of why I set that up like that. The extra blight is going to be lovely. Minus damage on you and a huge crit. Well done. Wait, you have 0% crit chance. How do you manage that? Who knows, but well done. <laughs> I don't quite know how you manage that, but... Well done, Mars. You crit with a zero crit chance. Injection. That's going to spread. Yeah, we're stung now. It's okay. We set up our uh, repost here. Well, we set up our repost damage. We can actually set up our repost after this. I'm going to keep going with this, actually. That blight damage is so nice. And then finish you off. Going to need some healing here. There we go. And we're just going to keep lowering your damage. Super nice for doing that. And stun resist as well, which also helps. So actually, I didn't even realize how well Mars pairs with uh, Voidwalker. Because um, we're, getting, we're getting the stun resist down and then stunning him with this. And there you go. That's a really, really good combo that was completely unintentional. I'm very happy that's worked out as well as it has. Very happy. Because look here, this. Buff self, 65% stun chance. Minus 17% damage on the target. And minus 17% stun resist. Very, very good combo. A victory. Perhaps the turning and also, isn't Mars another class that enters Fury at lower health? So, yeah. We've got two classes 
Mars and Veiled actually work incredibly well together. The, these two are a combo that I did not consider, but they both get affected by new abilities and new new effects when they're at lower HP. And one of them has many stun abilities and the other debuff stun resists. So this is like the perfect combination. Also, we've got Surprised again here, which is just great. A momentary really effect. helps out. Try and stun you. I'm going to say, I don't think we'll be getting stuns early on, but hey her. Light on you. Good, good. Lower your damage. We mainly want the lower damage. Pushing you back is kind of a secondary ability. Ooh, that's a big hit. But we got that regeneration finally on, on being hit. And that kind of works out for us because we can apply more regen after that. That that would have bled us for a lot there, so I'm glad we dodged that. Ooh, really? Again? Oh, nice dodge there. So then we'll do this here and just set you up. We kind of don't really want to be healing the Veiled, actually. Kind of not a great idea. Uh, but I'm going to continue working the way we have been, because it's, it's just it's going well. Heal you up. Oh, I, I tried to cure you by accident. Did not, did not mean to do that. Okay, that's going to bleed us for a lot. 8 over 3. We'll definitely be getting rid of that. Get that stun resist down. And I'm going to heal you up a little bit and lower my own health. Just to get you back up to normalcy. What sort of damage are we doing here? Five to eight. Yeah, we, I think we just keep going on with this. Setting up that blight so good. And we do this. Lovely. Yeah, this is a great party. This is a great, great party. And we can clear horror as well, so. Nice. You should get stunned next turn by Veiled. After two hits, stuns are pretty likely. As the pinch again. Resisted that bleed, though. Great stuff. Should get the stun here. There we go. That's so good. What an amazing combo. Love that. Okay, let's start clearing that horror off people. You've got three over two, three over two, three over two. Do it on you, then. It's great, that. Getting rid of um, horror... And getting rid of the actual stress as well. What a combo. What a great combo. Pinch coming in again. Again, resisting that bleed. I'm guessing it's because he's basically just a skeleton. So his bleed resist... Yeah, his bleed resist is insanely high. I thought that might be the case. We haven't really got to see his lower health abilities, but that's because we're in a higher level dungeon, so I'm not too worried about that. Of course, we resisted that because he's got the 50% bonus. That's gone as well. Great stuff. You're dead. Well, these guys just seem to have really, really good sustain. The ability to just keep on plowing through is great. Lots of healing, lots of debuffs, less damage coming in. And we're resisting all of the bleeds here. I'm pretty sure you're fairly resistant to bleed as well. Yeah, we've actually... Do you know, I've accidentally created the perfect team for the curve. This is unintentionally an amazing team for the curve. The ability to clear debuffs is insane, as well as cure blight bleed. Very, very strong in the curve. The ability to stun pretty regularly with a combo to activate the stun, as well as debuff damage on some of these larger enemies. And then two of our heroes have incredibly high bleed resist, which is the most common ailment in this area. Like... I, I can't believe how perfect of a team I've made this without actually thinking about it. It's kind of crazy, really. It's kind of crazy. One more hit and you're done. Stress relief here. Yeah, this is this is an impeccable team for this area. When we go for bosses, I'll have to remember this group. Because this, this, is, this is very good. Need to eat. Keep pushing forward, though. We don't have to go that way, because that's a room battle, not... Uh, that's a hallway battle, not a room battle. So it's not required for uh, completing the dungeon. So we will carry on. I'm... 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 I'm proud that my... That my indirect... My unconscious brain... Pieced this together. I just wanted to use some of the new classes, but... Ended up being even better than I could have imagined. Lovely. Lovely. 
this, these guys are just kind of stomping through. And especially with the Hemlock on um, Fragment here, it's really working out because we're able to... This is going to be the perfect example for this, by the way, because we're going to get Blight on every single one of these guys because they've all got really low Blight resist. Um, and they've got really low Stun resist too. So this is... This is kind of perfect. My god, this is kind of perfect. All of you blighted. Oh, one of you resisted somehow. Because you resisted, you get stunned. <laughs> Look at this, it's great. It's fantastic. They're all going to get to go twice in a row, by the way. Um, surprising spear fishes isn't actually great. Because they, they get double turns in a row because they've got high speed. So they'll most likely all get to hit us once and then all get to hit us once again. That's why I opted for stunning one of them so soon. Thank you for rearranging those guys for me. Actually, they didn't. Did I just kill the whole... Oh, I was really hoping I killed all of them in one hit then, but not quite. Still very good though. Party heal there. Pop everyone off. Finish you off. Yeah, this is, this is great. Okay, pulled us forward, that's fine. And there you go, that was insanely good. As that's it, okay, cool. So Return to the Hamlet. Resistance. And yeah, that's a, that's gonna be a fantastic little episode there. We, uh, we absolutely stomped through the content that I was expecting to be quite difficult. And I'm very proud of that. Hey, we got Fragment up to level five and Mars up to level five. I think Fragment might have already been level 5, actually, but still. Uh, we're going to get rid of Grey Rot and Petra here. Um, actually, no. No, we're not. That's actually great. Grey Rot's really good. We're going to leave that. Plus 20% maximum HP, minus accuracy and damage does not matter. With the cost of this crusade. Right. It's noble end of on equip. And so I'm very happy with how that went. See if we've got anyone else to bring on board. Doesn't look like it, no. And let's check our trinket shops again. Again, nothing much there. Nothing much there. And we're still checking for that syringe to come back to us. Ooh, this is good. Uh, rancid Cure All. Plus 40 Blight and Bleed Resist and plus 30 Debuff Resist. That's pretty good. I like the idea of that. Uh, let's quickly check what else we've got here. Um... Nothing else that's super good. Let's buy the Rancid Cure-All. Rancid Cure-All seems very, very useful. Uh, we'll end up getting some use out of that later down the line as they become more important. Either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one.